a world full of routine, two degenerates emerge to remind us to embrace life. Krista and Jason aren't the cruisers we need or deserve, but they are here anyway. They're just soulmates with a GoPro, a moderate tolerance for alcohol, and a thirst for fun. Let's celebrate the day. What's the situation, Degenerate Nation? What's happening, Degenerates? We thought the drink of the week, being uh, the holiday season, should be something okay. festive. Yes, and yummy. And of course, since we're cruisers, we love the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So we thought it should be something Caribbean. So we're gonna do Coquito. Coquito is a, a eggnog-like drink. So if you don't like eggnog, yeah, go ahead and bail now because you're but, not gonna but this probably not gonna like. It doesn't have eggs, but it's eggnog-ish. Yes. Um, Coquito is a Puerto Rican drink. Yes. Um, eggnog originally uh, invented like the British style stuff. Uh, it was a real uh, highfalutin type of deal. Uh, oh, yeah. The rich had it because this Brand. is back in the 1600s when eggnog was invented. Um, it was, they think that the word eggnog was actually developed in America sometime around our independence. Oh. But um, grog was rum grog, back yes. in the day. And then a noggin was a, was a wooden cup. And so somewhere along the way, the, the name got to be Egg Grog, Egg, egg Nog. That makes and sense. And then boom, there we go with our current name. So anyway, uh, Coquito, the Spanish make it to uh, Puerto Rico. Yes. And obviously there's multiple versions of some eggnoggy sort of Caribbean drink on, uh, everyone's put their spin on it. Well, the Puerto Ricans are like, this needs coconut. <laughs> <laughs> and then Coquito is born at that point. Um, originally, uh, it was made with eggnog. Would have been made with brandy. Yep. Uh, brandy was, is obviously distilled wine, and that's very, very expensive. Our dog doesn't like it when you say brandy. So, <laughs> back in the day, wine was really heavily taxed. Back in it the British rule and all that. So rum was pro was a it's good substitute. So right? when, once they got to the Caribbean, rum was abundant, and it was much, much cheaper. So rum became the liquor of choice to add to coquito. And, and there's so, lots and then of you have, have the coconut edition, the rum edition, and all of a sudden the star is born. Right. And, <laughs> and there's so many different variations. Um, you know, I've got variation stuff down here, but there's so many different variations you could do. There's so many different styles of recipes. Some people run it through a double boiler first and then add the rum afterwards. There's, there's cooked I versions mean, wow. that actually obviously include eggs. Yes. Uh, we're gonna skip all that. I'm gonna. We're gonna rip off a recipe that uh, for a couple of Florid or Oregonians that landed in Florida and were exposed to coquito right? due to the diversity down here. Um, obviously, we fell in love right away with it. Uh, I'm an eggnog fan. I love he eggnog and brandy. Uh, you can make this as a non-alcoholic beverage. It's very family friendly. Uh, we were exposed to it, and most people I know that make coquito, the, it's generational. This recipe has been handed down over the course of multiple grandmother to mother to daughter, mm -hmm. and everyone's putting their special spin on it or whatever. So feel free to make it your own. Ditch the rum, uh, add dark rum, add brandy I'm, you know, instead. You could, yeah, add, you could do add, add, add both. whiskey, you whatever could, you want to do. So and you can add as much as you want or as little as you want because we've had some coquito that's been very very low ABV, and then we've had some coquito that's been like, oh my. So <coughs> yeah, and and. Uh, if you get to somebody that really knows their Coquito, they don't use a measuring cup. No. They're dumping a can of this, can of that. They hold the rum over it or whatever, the alcohol addition, until it's, they taste it, they try it. And then uh, once it's done, it needs to kind of marry all the flavors. So it's not, it w it's fine if you make it and it drink it right away. It's right? better after a day. Yes. So at any rate, yes. Let's get to Do the Do we want me to mix while you talk? Or? Well, here's the ingredients. So this is, like I said, right off the Goya website. This is a no-cook recipe, easy as pie. It's basically adding cans to uh, mm -hmm. uh, some sort of container. So it's very, very easy. Most of this stuff is had uh, without making a special trip anywhere. Most people have uh, rum in the house. Yep. I, I hope. I hope I live in a world where there's rum in the house. That would be anyway, good. Anyway, uh, the recipe is... 24 ounces of evaporated milk, basically two cans, 15 ounces, a can of cream of coconut, 13 and a half ounces, a can of coconut milk, uh, half a cup of sweetened condensed milk, four ounces of white rum, a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. You mix it up the day before, like I said, for best results. Shake it before serving because it will settle. 
uh, it makes about four pints. So this is definitely not a drink where you just, you shouldn't make one and drink it. No. Mix, mix a bunch and have, a, have some fun. Yes. Now the beauty of the recipe is you can adjust the booze accordingly. Yes. We're sticking right with Goya's website, or website's instructions, which actually is like super duper holiday friendly, family oriented oh. stuff. This Major. thing, um, obviously we're making a humongous uh, 65 ounce batch, and it only comes in at 2.6% ABV with four ounces of rum added to it. So super duper family friendly. Nobody's gonna get out of control. Yep. A nice uh, unwind type of drink. Don't count the calories or the carbs. <clears throat> 1.6 ounces of pure alcohol in mm -hmm. the what would basically make four pints, or in our case, we're gonna make eight ounces. But at a pint, um, you're only looking at about 0.4 of an ounce of pure alcohol. It's, it's super duper uh, light. If you double the booze, add eight ounces of rum at 40 proof to oh it, my. you're only still gonna come in at a 5% drink. It's gonna be a, a much, um, in my opinion, it's much tastier with that much rum in it. That rum uh, heat adds a little extra something to it. Yes, and I like the rum. Yeah, a 5% drink. So, uh, you know, or go. you can do to uh, go with just to taste, whatever tastes good to you, but be, be careful. It, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, if you leave me in charge of the rum, I usually end up uh, one drink and, uh, yeah, where's... After another. Where's the, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so, anyway. And I'm, I'm actually really tr excited to make a batch this season um, using some Kraken in it. Because um, yeah. Kraken's kind of like my rum, and it's got caramel and vanilla notes. So I think it would really work well with the coconut. What, um, did you get the rest or the uh, receipt? Oh, no. How much did it? Oh, I have it in my pocket. <laughs> it's Sorry. in your pocket. I'm trying to figure out quickly. Did we buy only? Well, we bought a bunch of water. So there's about twenty dollars worth of water off of there, and that was forty-two dollars. So it's about twenty bucks. For two batches. Yeah, for two. Uh, so yeah, that's like basically a, a gallon of it. And yeah. I have bought Coquito like like somebody doing a dope deal on the street. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you got any Coquito? The guy's like, yeah, I can hook you up. And, and, and it's 20 bucks a bottle. Yeah, and the, and the Puerto Ricans are really proud of it, and they should be, because it is a very good oh, drink. Oh, I have had some stellar Coquito from uh, family recipes, and then you're like, hey, can I get the recipe for that? They're like, not mm. a chance, pal. Good try, though. But I have some Obviously ideas. Obviously, you're not Puerto Rican, because you would know better than you to be asked that question. Right. It's but, basically like asking somebody how much they make a year. I have some ideas to kind of spin this up. And the dark rum, the Kraken is one of them that I think would change it. And, you know, there's lots of different vanillas out there. I've got, you know, actual vanilla extract there. There's the, the fake shit. Um, vanilla powder is something I was thinking of. It's yeah, a twist. But, hey, but, use this recipe as a base to make your own new family tradition. Yep. Because before we had moved to Florida, we had never heard of Coquito. No. Uh, even as a Californian, that was uh, I mean, yeah. we were we were very Latin, Latin friendly. We, oh, yeah. we loved all the Latin uh, exposure we got in Southern California, but never Coquito because it was, it was it's, it's kind of a Caribbean thing. So uh, let's do it. Okay, um, you're gonna have to open this because I'm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I know how to do this. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. Just keep that in cans, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't worry, I got um, it. It pours, just pours slow. There you go. Um, just note to sell. I know you're going to want to, you know, try this right off the bat. Do not refrigerate any of the coconut products. Um, because they will, coconut, when it gets cold, tends to congeal. Um, which hence so, why you shake it. Yeah, so all of our cans are warm. Which one is that? This is the sweetened condensed milk. Right, that's the only one that like wasn't a full on can. Right, and it's thick. It's the thickest product we're putting in. The rest of it, I mean, you saw we opened up, what, four cans? And just yeah. throw it in there. <laughs> Thank you, Goya. <laughs> right? And and Goya probably has, um, we weren't able to find the actual Goya um, products for some of it because... Well, 
obviously they would want us to use Goya product being there, but... And um, I would be more than happy to use Goya products, but some stores just don't have it all. Well, uh, it's all, basically, it's whatever you find at the grocery store. Enjoy. Okay, now the fun part. Oh, I forgot the measuring cup for the rum. I can do this. One, two. You sure? Yeah, go get a measuring cup. We're going to use the half a cup measuring cup that we use uh, yeah. for the sweetened condensed milk. Uh, probably one or... of your little short cans. Well, no, no, those are four ounce cans. Uh -uh. Oh, well. So, we're using this one. Dump our white rum in. I mean, it's all this goes in the same thing anyway. I got sweetened condensed milk all over my fingers. Make it a mess. Okay. Sticking it all on everything you're pouring in there. Yeah, it's like it's, a big French kiss. It's, it's big French kiss. Okay, how uh, it was uh, a teaspoon? Tisp, a tisp. A tisp? A little tisp of ground cinnamon. This is, I think, where most people customize this recipe with nutmegs and cinnamons and different uh, things inside of the... Uh, yeah. Inside the container, or uh, for, just to make it their own. And... The cinnamon you can add <clears throat> I mean, to it hey, before. Put Old Bay or, in it. I don't care. Yeah, and the cinnamon you could add into the container, or you could add, um, just sprinkle it on the top. We're gonna put it in the container, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's gonna sit for a few days, and it needs to kind of take it in. Teaspoon, right? Yep. Hey. It's a new tradition. It's a okay. tablespoon now. Who cares? Whatever. <laughs> That's it. Now you gotta shake it. Yep, now you just shake it up. And I'll get the wipes. And then put it in the fridge, let it sit for a period of time, a day, like I said. Yeah. It's better uh, after a day. It, it gets it gets good after a day. I don't know that uh, how much extra aging benefits, but the day certainly helps. Yeah, just a day. What do you do on this, man? This shit's sticky everywhere. It's sticky. Well, I, if you put it in the container, we have less sticky, especially for someone with your uh, inability to handle things all over. I don't over know the how it got table. all over it. It's uh, a mess. Was that my pour? <laughs> my <laughs> bad. Oh. Anyway. Have another one. All right, so we made some yesterday. Yep. So we're not going to drink that. That'll be uh, an off-camera festivity. And one of the things Goya suggests is putting a cinnamon stick in as some of your garnish. Um, and then topping it with cinnamon as well. This needs to be shooken. Shooken. Oh, and... Now the bottles that we uh, we that people give away as as presents and things like that, a lot of uh, people will give this as a gift to other people. Right. And uh, they'll put a little bow on an old wine bottle, save wine bottles through the year, pick up cute wine bottles at uh, Big Lots or wherever you can find uh, discount whatever. <laughs> now I need it. No. Okay, I'll take. It. I'll read. I'll dress this one up. Um. And so, if you're lucky, you have Puerto Rican friends, and they will give you some coquito. And obviously, you've heard it's about 20 bucks to make a batch of it, so it's quite the gift. <clears throat> Alrighty. Cheers. Cheers. It's like tropical eggnog. This is absolutely yummy. Right. Oh. Very holiday -y. Yep. Nice and festive. Low ABV. You can oh. have multiples of these and still not get into a political discussion with your in-laws. This is very similar, I would say, to the, what was, um, it's, it's kind of a painkiller-ish. Um, ah, not coconutty. As, okay, yeah, it's, fair it's enough, got the but... coconut in it, um, but this is um, wow. This is this is yummy. This is just yummy. Alrighty, so uh, 
What do we do now? I'm gonna drink this. Okay, you wanna come back? Yeah, let's come well, back. You know, it's gonna it's pretty low ABV, so there isn't gonna be a lot of uh, there won't be any crackers. To be expect, but uh, we'll prove it. We'll drink these and we'll be back in 20. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. Hi. So this is this we I like I love Kokito. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything new to share other than we like Coquito. Yeah. Oh, uh, Bacardi. Bacardi. This week I saw a post on Bacardi, you know, through my Facebook feed. Bacardi is selling bottles of Coquito. I looked it up on Total Wine and More, and it's 19 bucks for a 750, and we're 10 bucks into double that amount, one, right. about a liter and a half. Yeah. So we made two batches, which is about uh, three liters. Right, and it only had <laughs> half for a cup, 40 bucks, which is like. Yeah, so it's a pretty good markup on that. Oreos. But hey, you know, uh, if you're uh, if you're in a pinch for some coquito and you don't feel like taking all that time we took to make it, yeah, that was hard. <laughs> then by all means, Bacardi coquito it is. The other thing is, um, this recipe is really low ABV. So if you're looking for something that'll warm you up, you're gonna want to add more than what's on the recipe. Yeah, we did the math on doubling it. It's yeah. still only five percent. Um. Yeah. We kept our cinnamon sticks. Yeah, recycle those. They're they're expensive. Yeah. Um, zero point zero. Yeah, I might be. This might be the lowest blowy, first blowy I've ever done. It just doesn't have a lot of booze in it. It's a really nice, uh, delicious holiday cocktail. Yeah. I love brandy and eggnog. Don't get me wrong, but it's a little thinner, and a little more tropical. Yeah, it's n it's not as heavy, so it it doesn't fill you up as much. Yeah, one thing about eggnog is uh, two or three of those, and man, I feel like I just had Thanksgiving dinner. Oh. Zero point zero. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and, and if anybody asks, um, these are salad dressing bottles that I get at Whole Foods. I get the salad dressing at Whole Foods, and I yeah. save the bottles because any really self-respecting Puerto Rican is going to collect bottles through the year. Yes, and I have, <laughs> but I'm not Puerto Rican. Anybody that makes coquito, let me yes. rephrase. But yes. Yeah. The, uh, our original experience with coquito was obviously through a friend, mm -hmm. and they they gifted us a bottle for Christmas, and I'm like, what is this magic <laughs> you've given me? This is freaking delicious. So I buy salad dressing. it was dressing. in like an old uh, wine bottle wine with bottle. cork, you know, yeah. it, it was cool. And then they, they like glued a ribbon on it. And yeah. It was just, it was really nice sentiment that it was handmade, you know. Yeah. And you can, I mean, like I said, um, I buy expensive salad dressing because the bottles are really cute and they make great for storage for cooking. So there you go. All right. Well, um, do we do we want to go any further? I mean, we're 0, 0.0 here. I don't suppose that we're going to improve gonna, much. So. No. So that's it. We'll wrap that's it our up. holiday drink. Enjoy some Coquito. You yes. can make it yourself for ten dollars for a liter and a half. Yep. And it's really good. It's really happy. Um, and you can booze it up. Which I may be doing. If you're making it by hand though, you can make it your own. That's the beauty exactly. of making it by hand. If you go down and buy the twenty dollar bottle from Bacardi, you get what you get. And you don't, yeah, you get, exactly, you get what you get. I mean, you can use completely different ingredients, um, brands that you're familiar with, or, you know, if you're one of those people who makes everything from scratch, you could make this from scratch using, you know. Well, you saw how much time it took. I think you yeah. and I mixed it up in less than a couple of minutes. Yeah. And so the next time you're at the grocery store, uh, take the shopping list with you and boogie woogie. Yep. And uh, make more than you think you're going to need. Yeah. Because Because we've it almost goes drank quick. a whole batch. It goes quick. We should be saving our booze bottles. We could be re-gifting it. And right? That. Why didn't we think of that? Because I drink beer. Oh, and I'm saving salad dressing bottles because, right. yeah. All Can right. you imagine a whole bottle of Coquito in a Kraken bottle? Mm, okay. Yep, I can. Uh-oh. Anyway, you guys have a great day. And how do we finish this up? Celebrate the day. Celebrate the day. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go out on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.